Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Battlegrounds. Yes, player unknown Battlegrounds. That's what this is. This is Zebu Nation playing this game that I just mentioned. And let's go. Alright. Oh, uh, I just joined I just joined the Asian server again. I don't know what it is, but the game is defaulting to the Asian server. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but... Just, uh, you know, want to be truthful on which server you play on. You don't want to cross boundaries and play against uh, people you shouldn't be playing against. I don't know. Does it matter? It doesn't matter. The only, th the only thing it matters about is, like, your stats get kind of messed up. Because now i got stats on the North American server and on the Asian server. And it seems like the Asian servers aren't quite as populous or populated as the North American servers. Like, you look right now, there's only 50 people in this game it takes a little bit longer for matches to get populated like look it's like it's like a wasteland out there there's hardly anybody shoot this guy I'm gonna get this guy I'm gonna get that ah yeah run away run run all right, all right. It's about the end, end of our range. Click, 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 click. We're out of bullets. Let's see if we can grab some of these 9mm bullets and reload. There we go. Get roasted. Gotta, I got to take out some aggression here. Click, click, click. All right, all right. Let's see. Oh, boy. Islands. We never go to the islands. I don't like the islands. I'm afraid of the island. It's not my favorite place. So, I guess... I guess we'll go to the island, then. Let's go over here. As, uh... Yeah. All right. Gonna go straight down. Well, not straight down. Gonna go sort of down-ish towards these houses. The back side of the island. It might be a little bit uh, more quiet here, but probably not. There'll probably be somebody here with us. Alright, alright. So yeah, like I was saying, I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody. I uh, need to, like, uh, build up some energy. I was trying to record some videos earlier today. I did record some videos earlier today, and I just had no energy, just no excitement going on, which is too bad, because I, uh, I got a lot of videos I need to record and a lot of series I'm working on, but it's just like, uh, I don't know. I can't, uh, I can't figure it out. I got no enthusiasm going on, and some of the games that I play, you really need... You know, to build that enthusiasm. Um, it's a pistol. <laughs> Revolver. You need to build that enthusiasm. Um, not artificially, per se, but you just gotta... You know, the game itself isn't all that uh, super exciting. You know, like, stuff happening every second. So you gotta, you know, you gotta play it up. You gotta play to the crowd, as it were. And I'm just having trouble doing that today. It's just uh, low energy, low energy day. It's not working out. Maybe it has something to do with staying up till two in the morning last night uh, playing this game. Uh, that's now that I think about it, that's probably it. I'm gonna blame that. But still, I should be able to. I should be able to stay up late, and then you know, it's not like it's that late right now. It's only like five o'clock. It's not even late night battlegrounds. It's just regular old battlegrounds. I just grabbed some sort of wife beater t-shirt. So, I don't know. Maybe I should, uh... I should wait and make my recordings tomorrow. But you know what? Uh, the show must go on, as they say. Can't, uh... Can't take a day off just because you don't feel like it. But, uh... In truth, you can take any day off. You want. I'm just rambling at the moment. Just, uh... I don't know. Not even looking around. Not even caring. I'm on the island. 
Where's the circle? Let's let's check out the circle. Hey, we got the circle. That's rare. It seems like there have been more island circles lately. Like before, I I didn't like the circle for two reasons. Number one, not a lot of great places to go other than like the military base. And number two, the military base was always like super dangerous. Um, that's kind of one reason, I guess. Uh, the other big, big reason is that the circle never landed on the island. So you're always in like a scramble to get off the island, and there's only a couple of ways off the island. There's two bridges. You could swim, which is no good at all. Or uh, you could find a boat, which is probably the best way, but it's kind of the least available way because there's only so many boats. So, if they're going to have more circles on the island, I guess I'd be more inclined to land on the island. But if they're not, then, uh, you know, I, I can still hate the island freely. So, there's something wrong with... Ooh. Do I want an Uzi? Yeah, I'll keep the shotgun. There's something wrong with this house. Like... I've been to this house a couple times, and it's got texture issues. Like, that uh, That shouldn't be doing that. It's freaking me out. All right. So I'm all full of gear right now. I need a backpack if I'm going to keep looting. And, uh, well, this is the last house, basically, anyway. So um, I'm kind of up the creek without a paddle at the moment. I'm going to have to move on to the next complex. Oh, never mind. Backpack. Level 2 helmet. There we go. Shotgun 5.56. Five, Alright, we're looking good. Got 45, 50 rounds of shotgun. That's enough. I don't need any more. 120 rounds of 5.56. Five, I could use more of that. and Put this on burst. And we're going to head away from where the plane was, so I'm going to head uh, oh, this a direction. What a direction is this? This is northwest, west-ish. There's another compound up here over the hill, so we're going to head to that, see what, up, see what else is up here. I need a level 2 vest, level 2 backpack. I got my gas mask, I got my M4, I need some attachments for the M4. What do I got? Nothing, just a scope, or not even a scope, just a... Uh, Hollow graphic sight. I can't even remember the name of things right now. I guess I am more tired than I thought. For a Monday, especially. Normally, like Monday, you're coming off the weekend and you're all right, but I stayed up too late playing all the new stuff. They got new guns, new maps, new, well, not new maps. They got new buildings. They're going to have a new map soon. They got a new little town up in the corner of the map. I think I mentioned that in another video. And uh, yeah, the Tommy gun is now a, reg a gun in regular rotation. So that's cool. I love the Tommy gun. It's one of my favorite all-time guns. And uh, it made me realize that like, I know too much about guns, if that's possible. I was talking to a buddy of mine uh, as we were playing, and I was like telling him all these random facts about random guns, and he's like, why do I know this stuff? Uh, and I know why I know it. It's because of uh, role-playing games, RPGs, and... Uh... Ooh, there's a motorcycle. Well, let's have some fun. How about that? Where's the circle still? Yeah, we're still fine. Let's have some fun with the motorcycle. Let's get on the motorcycle and go. So yeah, RPGs, all the source books and stuff, and just like, you know, I did a lot of DMing for games, and so when you DM for games, like, you gotta have, you gotta have resources, and you gotta have information about various things, and guns are one of them if you play a modern type RPG. So I got, I actually have a bunch of source books uh, that 
you know, give all kinds of facts and figures about guns. There's one called the Gun Digest. I think mine's from like 99 or 98, somewhere around there. And it gives you everything you'd ever want to know about guns and more, like uh, SMG Compensator. It, uh, you know, down to like the muzzle velocity of different kinds of guns and just crazy amount of information. So yeah, and plus watching a lot of World War II documentaries have made me a fan of a lot of World War II weapons. And so the new weapons they added to the game are actually old weapons. There's the, uh, the Thompson submachine gun, as I mentioned, and uh, there's a gun called the Mini-14, which is just a uh, scaled-down version of the M-14, which was a rifle used in Vietnam briefly. Um, before it was replaced by the M16. But that is just a modernized version of the M1 that they used in World War II. So there's a bit of a historical lineage there that's pretty cool. Oh, there's the Glock. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for that Glock. All right. That, get the ammo. Let's get these back on there. So yeah, again, there's useless trivia that I know for no particular reason other than, you know, I watched a lot of World War II documentaries as a kid and enjoyed them. All right, all right, what's going on here? I don't want that stuff. Uh, tab looting. I, I like just looking at stuff and looting it, but, you know, I have to admit that the tab looting is a little bit more efficient in some scenarios. Like, scenarios like that where there's a bunch of stuff piled on top of each other, it's better to loot tab. But in a place like this, where you can, like, see what you want and just click on it, then that's easier to do that. Like, if I want this helmet, just bam, that's easier. Way easier than clicking and dragging. Quick draw that out of there. I could use a level 2 vest. I'm not finding it, unfortunately. That's another thing that tab looting will do. It will show you if something's, like, hidden underneath something else, but really that's all it's good for. I want that helmet because it's a better color. I like the darker colored helmet. Oh, the, uh, they have a fog game now, and that helmet just reminded me of that because uh, in the fog game, it might be better to have lighter colored clothes rather than darker colored clothes. Normally you want the darker colored clothes so you can blend in with the, you know, with the shrubbery, essentially, and with shadows and stuff like that. But with the fog game... Um, I think having white or gray clothing might uh, actually be a little bit better. So, honestly, we, we don't have anything to do right now. There's no, no bad guys running around. No circle problems. Maybe I guess I should land on the island more often. The island mount. I could use a scope for the M14. Uh, but other than that, we're fine. I've got one last house. I can look at the chicken coop. Oh, M16 in the chicken coop. Grab the 556ers. Five, five, Get out of here. The only thing that could mess up this run, well, not mess it up, is if I found a Thompson. Then I'd have to get rid of the shotgun. Not that I care that much about the shotgun. But, uh, you know, I like the shotgun. It's really powerful close up. It's a one-shot kill type weapon. I could use some more energy drinks also. Don't need any more shotgun ammo. Umpy. I don't need the umpy because I got the Glock. Another level 2 helmet. No level 2 vest. I know some people might think that's pretty weird. Like, like why would you keep the Glock over the ump? But it essentially serves the same purpose. You know, it's a... It's a 9mm fully automatic weapon, and it, it spits spits lead, man. You know, maybe it doesn't have quite as big a magazine if you get the extended magazine for the ump, but 25 9mm rounds should be enough to kill somebody. 
And a lot of people don't like the ump to begin with. They'll they'll go with two assault rifles, and that's that's understandable. But uh, for me, I like the versatility of some of these nine millimeter guns, especially. I grab a little more ammo, especially the Glock, because it is handheld. Then you you can move faster with it. You know, you can run faster with the Glock out than you can with the uh, ump. So it's a little bit better for looting. It's better if you get in a firefight and need to run around. But yet you still have a lot of firepower in your hand. So I definitely think it's the best pistol in the game by far. I don't know why they chose to make it fully auto. Um, I mean, I'm sure that... There's some bombing going on. Oh, we're a little outside the circle. I'm sure you can get a Glock full auto, but I, they obviously don't come that way, at least not in the United States. And this is what the 18C, P18C model. I don't know if that's like the fully automatic model, but uh, it's just an interesting design choice, you know. Uh, there's a red zone up ahead, so that probably means there's dudes up there. It's a buggy. Don't necessarily need a vehicle at the moment, but um, I don't necessarily need to drive into a red zone either. So where is that red zone? The red zone is back behind me. Okay, that took me a lot of bullets to do that, but I did it. I did it. Got a kill. What do you got for me, buddy? Not a lot. Energy drinks. Got an AK. I don't really want that, per se. Shotgun. No. No. Whoa, he's going to run me over. Yikes. I'm out of here. Now I got the red. Now I got the red zone. I got the red zone in a noisy car. So I'll go back to this hiding place. That was kind of fun. Oh, uh, I should get inside the red zone. I mean, that guy was sitting there in the car. He's probably looking at the map. I'm going to assume he was looking at the map. Oh, we got the blue coming in. I, I'm sandwiched between blue and red. So I'm going to have to wait for this blue zone, or this red zone, to leave. And then, uh, and then head in. Look at how far back that thing rolled. It rolled all the way back there. Like it started started beyond this blue building and it just kept rolling all the way. With no Ow. I'm glad I wasn't sitting in my spot. Alright, let's go. Let's go. We don't have very far to go, but this is like open terrain over here, so. It is not, not the best in the world. I guess we're going to have to make it, make it to those buildings there, or at least to the, uh, that little hill there. There's some cool terrain behind that hill, behind that tree. Uh, this compound has some walls to it as well. That's another thing they're adding, is they're adding a new map. So right now, like you know, most of this map, like the back of your hand. So it'll be interesting being in a new map where you don't know the map. And it'll uh, bring a little bit of intrigue and fear back to the game. Maybe it w it's kind of lost a little bit of that. So I'm just going to lie here, I think. 
a little bit. If somebody comes over this hill, they could smoke me out, but I uh, don't think that's going to happen. They would have shot at me beforehand, you'd think. But they're in the blue right now and not having a good time of it. So if they do come up, I should be able to just hit them a couple of times and they'll go down. But anyway, we got to move. Let's see. Where am I going? I got to go across the island. Um, this is just bad news altogether. I could run down the beach. I don't like that, though. At a minute 30, I gotta get rolling. I yeah, probably should have checked those houses out, but, uh. Ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Anybody running? Anybody running? Anybody running? No, 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 no. Go. Anybody behind? Anybody behind? Anybody behind? No. Let's go. I'm worried a lot of people camp bridges and stuff like that, so there's probably people hanging out over there, so I don't want to crest this hill too early. Stay on this side of the hill for as long as I can. I should be safe, I think. You know, because I'm worried about people with sniper rifles and such. Is that a guy? That is a lump. I hate those knobs on the side of trees. They uh, freak me out, as you can see. All right, we still got a long ways to go. How long, though, is the question? Not that long. But uh, we got to get to that other hill. I'm going to assume there are people. 25 left. This is a cool tree. I wish I could live here. I want to live here. This is my tree. But I can't. Oh, this is a cool tree, too. You can just live in these branches. Just, just hide. How are we looking? How are we looking? How are we looking? Looking good. Looking good. Run across this little valley. Blue is coming in. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Oop. <laughs> There's Evil Knievel. He's gonna... Dang it. I couldn't get a name on him quick enough. I should have uh, I should have just fired right off the bat. He's in the blue anyway. Now he's going to loot me. All right, so there you go. That's it. Uh, here's the loot dance. Nothing of interest. So there we go. Finished 22. Got a kill. Lost to a crazy motorcycle guy. There we go. End of the match. All right. So maybe that gave me a little bit of energy. Maybe that just drained it all. I don't know. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.